Dresden was one of the first maps we put together. Dresden was one of the first maps we put together. It really is a massive city in terms of game development. Perfecting it was a real challenge for us. Dresden is a kind of a linchpin that holds the whole story together. Enormously important city in the story, in the world itself, and it appears on the horizon of the story long before you get to see it. Even in chapter one, when you are stranded in Canabras, you keep hearing about Dresden. How tragic it is that it had been lost. You meet people who were there. You meet people who saw it lost, who were responsible for it lost, who were traumatized by terrible things that happened in Dresden 70 years ago. Then, in chapter two, Quinn tells you to go and take back Dresden. At this point, you already know what it is. The whole chapter two is you moving towards Dresden. It's your big beacon. Wrath of the Righteous is a game about crusades, and what's a crusade without sieges and the like? The player chooses how they are going to assault Dresden, which of their allies and friends to listen to, and whom to take there. Depending on which decisions the player makes and which companions' advice they follow, their starting location on this map changes, and so do the events that follow. Then you enter Dresden, uh, and it's a huge climactic battle. It's one of the probably the most important, most complicated battle we are making in the game. I've been writing a lot for it, and I was floored when I got to actually play it because it felt, from the game inside, it felt nothing like when I was writing for it. We've made quite a lot of cutscenes for Dresden. Actually, our cutscenes are not just something that wrenches control out of your hands to show you beautiful cinematics. They're also everything that happens around the player. In total, Dresden has over 70 cutscenes, but the player most likely won't get to see them all in a single playthrough. One of the challenges we faced was that Dresden is a three-tier structure, much like a real medieval city on a hill. It has three layers. The first one is the slums. The second layer is an epic city district with a strong infrastructure. It has a graveyard, barracks, a marketplace, a prison area, and a temple compound. The third section is way up high. It's the citadel. The main events take place inside. The player finds an ancient artifact, the Sword of Valor. It's a banner that belongs to the goddess Ayamadai, and this banner later accompanies the player throughout the entire game. And it's related to many of the game's plot twists. You raise your banner, and then everything changes, because after that, after that moment, it becomes your city. Dresden is the place that holds the story together because you keep returning there not just to sleep and wash and sell and buy gear. It's not just your home base. It's a place where something is constantly happening. It's a busy city. In Pathanik and Mecca, we treated your capital as your companion. It was in a constant dialogue with you. You made decisions and it changed. It changed the way your kingdom changed and you changed yourself. Dresden is the same, but for your mythic. The city also evolves depending on which mythic path the player has chosen. The mythic area as a whole switches mechanically from one to another based on how the player acted earlier in the game. For example, the lich can just build a ziggurat in the middle of Dresden, and the azada can grow a forest. Developing this comprehensive solution for Dresden was the most interesting part. While working on the city's environment, not only did we use a whole bunch of shots of real-life structures, we also looked at paintings from the late 18th century that depicted the Middle Ages. Really, nothing is more important in a game than faithfulness. During the development of Kingmaker, all of our locations were more or less flat because there was no option to rotate the camera, so we always had to pick the perfect angle so that nothing would obstruct gameplay. In Wrath of the Righteous, the camera rotates, so we were able to build locations like Dresden that have a lot of verticality. Another objective we had, and the team handled the issue nicely, was to stop the camera from jumping from one step to another and instead float upward smoothly along with the player. Dresden has some high walls that we can walk atop. We can also run under them from both sides, and I think it makes the whole area feel better. It becomes your little island of normalcy among the huge wasteland. Dresden is like your mirror. 
a mirror of the story. Dresden is a mirror of the world around you. It's you. This is just a little part of what we have to say about our game. So if you are interested and want to see more, please stay tuned for updates. Uh, look forward to our new game diaries and subscribe to our channel.